Hello, welcome. In this probability question right here from January 2018, we're told that a student is chosen at random from a student body, and the probability that the student selects math as their favorite subject is one-fourth. Okay, I'm going to write that down. The probability that they pick math is one out of four. The probability that the student chosen is a junior is 116 out of 459. Okay, so I'll record that. Probably they are a junior is 116 out of 459. The probability that the student selected is a junior or that the student chooses math, so here probably they are a junior or they select math, is 47 out of 108. What is the exact probability that the student selected is a junior whose favorite subject is math? Now the language here, I just want to make a comment that when I first read this, I I interpret it as meaning their selected is a junior given that their favorite subject is math. And I really feel like this is what that's implying. However, with this language right here on the regions, what they're asking you to find is the probability that they are a junior and they like math, right? So their favorite subject is math. So this is their interpretation of an end statement. I disagree with it, but uh, what we're trying to do here is prepare you for the regions, so we'll give you their language. And for the or statement, uh, the union, uh, that they're a junior or their favorite subject is math, equals the sum of the probabilities for a junior and a math, that they, their favorite subject is math, minus their intersection. Right, just think of that Venn diagram. Right, you've got the probability, let's say that they're a junior, the probability that they, the favorite subject is math, you add them up, that means you double count this intersection in the middle. That's what the intersection is, that's this piece right here. So we subtract it once because we've counted it two times and that's just too many. We don't need it twice, we just need it once. So the Venn diagram is showing you that. Anyway, if you think about the givens in this, um, we have, let's see, we have the or statement junior or math, so we have that one. We have the math as our favorite subject right here. We have the junior probability right here. And we're just trying to solve for the end statement. So I think algebraically for a moment, we'll add this over here, the probability that they are junior and like math. So add that to both sides of the equation. is going to be the probability that they are a junior and their favorite subject is math, and then subtract the or statement over here, kind of switch those two terms, and this is what we are going to figure out, and that will be our answer. So all we have to really do is take the probability that they are a junior, 116 out of 459, add the probability that math is their favorite subject, and subtract the union, 40, sorry, 47 out of 108. And just as a nice reminder, we're just in the calculator. So we've got 116 out of 459. That's the probability that they're a junior. Plus a fourth minus 47 out of 108. Okay, so plus 1 out of 4 and minus 47 out of 108. Let's go back one more time. Make sure I got that right. Okay, looks good. Now if I press math and go to fraction, this will give me the reduced fraction as an answer, 31 over 59, and that's the answer. So this is 31 out of 459, that's kind of sloppy. Sorry, I'm running on a really uneven surface right here, so I'm just gonna kind of scroll down and restate that. So for part one, the answer for the, the probably that they are a junior and math is their favorite subject, and they wrote whose favorite subject is math, is 31 out of 459. And they want to know, are the events, the student is a junior, and the student's favorite subject is math, are those independent of each other? And they want us to explain our answer. Okay, so um, in order for these to be independent of each other, you can multiply their probabilities and... Um, and it wouldn't matter which came first, essentially. So the probability that they are a junior and they like math, for example, that would have to equal the probability that you're a junior times the probability that you like math. And this is true for independence. In general, this would be true 
if you say junior and math, if that equals the probability of being a junior times the probability of math being your favorite subject given that you're a junior. So over here, what this is saying is, all right, if I multiply the probability of you being a junior and the probability of you math being your favorite subject given that you're a junior, that should give me this statement right here. In other words, being a junior should have no impact on whether or not you really like math. And that's, in general, what you would find. But here we're wondering, is this true? Because if it is, if you can multiply these two probabilities and get the intersection, then that's independence. So let's try that out. We've got 116 out of 459, probability of being a junior, times the probability of liking math as your favorite subject. And does that equal 31 out of 459? You can see it does not. But if we just test it out, 116 over 459 times 1 over 4, math and fraction. There's a reduced fraction. It's 29 over 459. So this does not equal 31 over 459. But we can show that it's 20, sorry, 29 over 459. That is not the same thing. In other words, you can't just multiply them. Being a junior has some impact on whether or not math is your favorite subject. All right, I hope this helped.